This tutorial is for SMS API, Integrate SMS. We'll show you just how simple it is to integrate SMS text messaging to any application or website. We offer a very simple HTTP post or GET API. So, in your browser, for example, it's just as simple as passing in a URL, which is the URL on our server, also, variables like your username, your password, the message you want to send to the handset, the comma separator, and some numbers you want to send the message to. Also, the from name of your text message, be it a word, up to 11 characters, or a telephone number. And info equals one if you want us to echo information back to your application. So, in PHP, in just a few lines of code, you'll be up and running in minutes. To get started, you pass in your username and password, which are generated when you create your text local account. You also pass in info equals one if you'd like information returned back to your application to say whether you received the message or not. And test equals naught or one to show whether we're in test mode or not. If we're in test mode, messages won't actually be delivered to handsets, but we'll simulate this. You'll see it in the Reports section on the Control Panel. Now we pass in the key elements of the text message. You can gather these from either a form submission on your website to this PHP page, or you might decide to retrieve this information from your database and put it into these strings. So, we start with the FROM address. This shows who's sending the message. It can either be a word up to 11 characters or can be a number up to 14 digits. If it's a word, people can't reply. Selected nums is the comma-separated list of the recipients of your text message. This can be up to 10,000 numbers. However, we recommend keeping it to around 500 and no more, just in case there's a break in transmission. Message is the message content itself. You see in this example, we pass in ampersand and a £5 symbol. This is just a test that you're encoding the message correctly, so PHP would use URL encode to encode the message. Then we simply build up the string. So you see here, data is equal to the variables we created above. Then using curl, we assign the URL of the API on our server, which is textlocal.com forward slash send sms post dot php and then we literally just let curl take over which sends the message out instantly. So give it a test yourself and you should see if you receive the message in around four seconds. Don't forget within Messenger you can click on help at any time or of course you can always call our friendly support desk. Thank you from the UK's number one mobile messaging provider, Text Local. Mobile, have you clicked yet?